Hello and welcome to my art channel called Artsy Fartsy Magic, where I do art and a story every hump day. Yay, Wednesday, just so you know. I'm going to update these on my website soon. I have to leave for vacation. It's going to be a little bit until I can get on the website. Holographic. Zombie bunny. Another thing new is that is going to be sent to a art giveaway for the Bailey Sarian fan page. So if you guys want to participate in a free giveaway, they're they're giving out four total. One of the boxes is going to Bailey and Fern. I'll put the IG the IG name right here. So if you guys want to follow that, that's where you will get the free giveaway along with. I'm assuming some other art. These prints will be included in the art giveaway. This week's commission piece that I'm doing is, it's galaxy themed, so it's probably one of my favorite pieces. So let's get into this. was forgetting something at the fucking paint store and this was that <laughs> Hello and welcome to the story time portion. If you missed last week, well, that is correct. All of you missed last week because I did not post a video. Whoopsies. I am at BFF Amy's. Um, I wanted her to join in with the story time, but she has a baby, so, and she's a little recorder shy. So I don't think she's gonna be joining us. She was like, you already talked about the ones I'm in. And I'm like, bitch, we have so much history. There's plenty of more stories. I am going to do a story about my brother and I. My brother is so very dear to me. He's like my best friend from across the country. He lives in Oregon. I live in Tennessee, so it's really hard to see him, but I do miss him a lot. And I can't wait to see him the next time. I'm not sure when that's gonna be. But in honor of him, I'm gonna be doing a story of us going on a road trip out to Oregon to help him move. To be frank, I don't think I have any pictures from that trip at all. Just because I had a really old phone and, you know, my brother and I, he's he's very, like, he's a hippie brother, you know? Like, he just likes to enjoy the moment. Pictures later, don't, you know, pictures are memories, but at the same time, like, I want to be present. So he, we didn't really take a lot of pictures. Which, I love that about him. I wish I was more like that because in my mind, I'm like, oh, I need to scrapbook this later. Yes, guys, I'm a motherfucking scrapbooker, okay? I'm an old granny and I like to put stickers on pictures. Anyways, so we packed up um, his little Toyota Corolla full, full. I had a very small suitcase that I brought with me and he made sure that he brought his tip that he bought, he's had for like a million years from Boy Scouts. So Adam's very particular and he planned out these two camping spots that we were going to stop at. Um, the first night was not camping. We stayed in Lincoln, Nebraska and we went to a comedy show that night downtown and it was like a open mic night kind of thing. And the beginning of the night, it was fun. People were actually funny 
And then during the end of the night, there's just drunk people up on the stage, just not making any, any sense at all. So we left and we went to the driving motel that we stayed at, which honestly wasn't even that bad. Like they had bed and breakfast. My brother was like, hey, maybe we should leave them a good review because they were nice to us. But I mean, does anyone ever Google review stuff? I've only done it a couple times and that's just because of how awful it was <laughs> like motels i've stayed in a couple in california that were just you could tell it was prostitution and drug hub anyways that was the last shower i took for like five days it was in that motel okay realistically it was more like three because the next stop we had was in wyoming and it was a we stopped at a national forest campground that was beautiful because they had rock climbing that you could do that was pretty easy you didn't have to have any equipment it was basically just climbing boulders oh my gosh we got so high up there like we thought we saw i'm pretty sure we saw a bear that was on the bottom level and we we're like oh god it's starting to get late we should probably get going because it is bear feeding time, bitch. I don't know if any of you seen this movie called Backcountry where the bear just like violently attacks people for no reason. Plus it has happened in the news like recently to a nurse. That's like my worst nightmare is if I'm going camping and being attacked by a bear. That's my worst freaking nightmare. We did see scat you know, bear shit. And we were like, mm -mm, mm -mm, we need to go back. The park itself was beautiful. We met some lovely old neighbors and a camper. They were a retired couple that was just traveling. They were really nice. Um, but the night of was terrible. It was windy as hell. We were cold as hell. Adam only had one freaking slumber bag. So we were just trying to like survive. <laughs> But we did, we made it. The next morning we got out of there and then we were heading to Idaho. Do you guys know what's in Idaho? I didn't know until we went to this place called Craters of the Moon. To be fair, I just did not do a lot of research on Idaho. I just kind of thought it was one of those boring potato states like Iowa, Nebraska, you know, just pretty flat land, nothing really there. But it's actually really plateau-y, there are mountains and at this crater of the moon place, it's a National Geographic monument. It's basically just a bunch of old volcanoes that are now rock. They're all lava rock. There is a volcano that is active and they will let you walk like around it, but you have to sign a permit. You have to basically sign your life away saying that you could die if you go down there. And Adam and I were both like, hey, you know, we're just trying to move. We don't need to go into that this trip, but we definitely thought about, you know, doing a separate trip in the future, going back there. Like it was, I really do want to go back there. I tried when I went to Washington, but it was just so out of the way and it would have taken a lot of time. So if you're ever in Idaho, I definitely recommend that spot. After that, we just went straight from Idaho to Oregon. We went to Adam's house that he was going to stay at. He rented a room. Um, he was gonna have roommates he was doing this thing called americorps it's basically peace corps but in america when i left him that trip i had to fly back from portland to st louis by myself it was the first time i've ever flown by myself i was so nervous but after i did that it wasn't one it wasn't that bad and two i felt like i could fly anywhere by myself once you do things by yourself trust me you will feel like on top of the world granted it's a little scary but for me it was worth it anyways that's the end of this story i hope you enjoyed it i you know once again shout out to my brother and also his boyfriend tim love you guys i can't wait to see you next and here is my painting galaxy themed hope you guys like it all right goodbye goodbye Hey, we're back. Um, I don't have a painting to show you because it's already packaged and I'm shipping it tomorrow. Not gonna happen. But here's a pretty picture again, just in case, you know, you didn't see it like five seconds ago. Let's just show this, I guess. Cause this is mom. I'm just kidding. Thank you for watching and I can't wait to see you guys next hump day. Peace, love, and Mod Jock Magic!